Uh, All right. Well, Hello. Right. Welcome to Utterly Insane Productions. This is Mark, and I'm Joe. Uh, sorry we've been gone for a while, but we had some revamping to do, as you see. Obviously, with our Facebook page to begin with. We've got a new website. You'll see that on our new video that we put, posted last night. Or this morning. We did the video last night. We did we the posted, video yesterday. And we posted it this and morning. And you posted it sometime today. So here's what we got for you that's coming brand new. We decided to start doing some paranormal investigations into some local Wisconsin haunts to start out with. And last night we chose a very interesting place that I happened to kind of grow up around all my life. Um, and it was kind of an interesting trip last night, wasn't it? Hi, Sean. Yeah, it was. It was pretty interesting. Hi, yeah. Sean. And Mike. And Mike. And Mike. <coughs> it didn't show Mike here. It just showed Sean was on. Um, yeah, we went to Sanatorium Hill up on uh, North Fort Drive North, in Madison. North part of Madison up on North Fort Drive. Um, I've We were watching a few videos about it on YouTube that other people have done and I think we debunked a few things and and at the same time it was actually kind of interesting to be up there I mean the last time I was actually up there wandering around I was probably about 16 or 17 years old mm -hmm. so that was quite a few years ago and well you, the th funny thing is I, I came out here in 93 back then I had no clue that there was the Disturbing history about the place. Yeah. You know, back then you're kind of naive as a kid and had no clue. So we, we, we decided to check it out and it was really interesting. And yeah, we we definitely debunked that one dude, but good. Well, it, 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 I'm pretty sure. It's kind of interesting. I mean, we didn't do exact. I thought it was an exact of what they did because of. of yeah, but we proved the point. But it wasn't a complete exact, but it was very similar to it. And yeah, it, it's he pretty, still came out of the same area. The guy just went a little bit different. No, it direction. wasn't the same area. Almost. It, just, no. I think I'll, he, I'll, I'll, if we're watching it, we've got it. If you can yeah, see we've here, got the video. It's already uploaded the, the to YouTube. Yeah, the video is already on YouTube. We're gonna kind of go through some of it during this show. If you guys want to split screen it and watch it and along with us, you can. But um, here we go. Let, let's start. Hi, here. Ash. We'll so, start by giving you a little history of the place. Um, the story behind this. You don't want to read it I'm not gonna, verbatim. Come on. No, man. I'm not going to read it verbatim. But anyway, it's called, they call it, the Dane County people, you know, Dane County calls it. Uh, it's sanitarium. A, it was called the Lakeview Sanitarium. Back and in it's supposed to be 1930, that's when it was constructed in 1930, as a tubular tuberculosis yeah, clinic. Whatever. So it was a TB hospital. <laughs> yeah. Lots of people died there during the time that a lot it was a of TB. people died from the tuberculosis because right. at that time they weren't sure how to treat tuberculosis. Right. And they didn't. Well, 1930, they didn't have a whole lot of medical technology back then. Well, I mean, 1930s, some of the pictures they had okay saw, stuff, but the thing is, with that, with tuberculosis, it was kind of a newer disease back in the in the 30s. Right. And um, <clears throat> one of the one of the things they thought was good for tuberculosis was sunshine. That's why, if you look at Sanatorium Hill or the the old sanatorium there, um, the front yard is so damn big, and it's it's. Basically, because Huge. they would set the patients out during the days that were nice and sunny and warm, and they'd they'd have them set out there in the sun and, and absorb it, some of the sun. And it had a great view. Supposedly. You get a oh, great yeah. view from up there. And that's why it was called Lake View because in the 30s you didn't have all the skyline and everything in front of the lake where the sanatorium set. Yeah, it was it all open. Yeah, it overlooked Lake Mendota. Yep. Okay, and at the same time, it's also considered the second highest point in Madison and we just lost two people anyway internet issues probably maybe I don't know but it closed down in uh, what was it 1966 yeah 66. 1966 it closed yep. down 
And then, and since then, it's had a lot of strange activity, mostly in the woods behind the place. Mm -hmm. And some say the cemetery, but mm, we'll get to that. Um, but it is a very spooky place at night. I didn't realize how spooky that place can be at night. And the thing that most people that made their videos, I, I don't know if they realize that the, sur the actual surroundings, and to give you a little bit, there's a marsh. I'd say that marsh was about maybe a mile down the road behind it further. Yeah, probably if you went straight as a But if you flies. went down on Wheeler Road, you got all them wooded areas there mm -hmm. and that one big, huge park, you know, on Wheeler there. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? I know where you're talking You'd about. You always see deer there early in the morning. Oh, I know. Oh, because okay. they come in, come right. in out of the marsh. Right. So when we were walking around the woods, oh, we'll get to that too. We, I'm skipping. The yeah, history. you're skipping. Quit skipping. Read. But read anyway, it. now it's still it's still um, in use, but it's in use for for the Dane County human Dane human County resources. Human resources. <laughs> yeah. Basically, it's just uh, what do we what do we find out? It was uh, just basically executives and financial people up there now yeah. it's no longer like the a main afc building that moved to aberg since then um but it's also got a history of kids climbing the hill that's out front which is massive it's a huge and hill it's used in the winter time as a sledding hill so there's a lot of activity there still to this day and there is some, and I didn't find anything except for on the one website and the few people that made their videos and talked about it. But I didn't find any facts that it was an ancient Indian burial ground. Right, right. No. Okay. Uh, that, there's, that's kind of a, they, I think that would be kind of a, a what, what would you call it, a myth? Or, or uh, yeah, a, myth, a legend, a legend, of, yeah, of, of the area that it was, or, or something, an ancient it, burial ground. For I Indians. I did a lot of research and I was looking and I couldn't find, but one or two little small paragraphs that said that it was possible, but there was nothing proven. Now, like some of the other sites in Madison that have the, been proven now, that were entrance, Indian burial ground. Yeah. Now, now the part that the the wooded area behind is now a park, actually. The city of Madison designated a park. Right. <clears throat> and they have entrances to trails that you can go up in there. And at the entrances, they have um, these three sided gazebo things that have different histories on them, which I actually I believe is in our. our yeah, video. yeah, we didn't get it. We should have got the. We're going back up here again. We just don't know when. Yeah, we'll wind up going back up there again and. And, and as we try to do a little different, as we do these, here's how we're going to do this. We're going to go up there. We're not going to let anybody know where we're going because we don't want outsiders interfering with our investigation and make it look like a hoax. We want to try to be as real as possible. Yeah, and that's one of the things, you know, I, I'm not saying that anything didn't happen to the people that went up there. Oh, I'm saying most it's possible. Of, most of the videos that I've seen about it. The people that did go up there, they went up there expecting to see something. And in my experience and my understanding of, of this mess is whenever you go anywhere expecting to see something, you're going to see something. Yeah, because your mind's going to be play tricks because on you. Because your mind's going to have you see whatever you want to see. And then if you're taking video, then when you're reviewing the video later, you're also going to be seeing different things there that may or may not be. So... You I know, mean, we did see a lot of weird, strange things. There was a few, but few. we didn't explore as much as we could have during the day. It was kind of cold and dampish out. It was a little cold and damp. We were starting to get a, a storm front in. And, well, at least it held off on the rain and, and uh, yes, believe it or not, snow. We had a little bit of that this morning. It didn't stick, though. Just, just enough to piss you off. But anyway... <laughs> So let's get on with. Should we get on with? Sure. Uh, play play the video if they can see it. You know, we we uh, do we do have it up on on. But YouTube anyway, already. Like I was saying though um, before. So if anybody anybody is watching us now and wants to see it, they can go and and maybe do a split screen with us and they can right. watch us and it, it. You know, whatever. But we were gonna run through it a little bit. And we're gonna have it muted. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna mute it and we'll we'll uh, 
kind of trying to explain what was going on at the time. And we're going to do this every time we go out. We're going to do our investigation, videotape it. We're going to put it up on YouTube first, and then we're going to talk about it the next day. That's live. kind of what we're going to try to That's do. That's our plan. And we'll hopefully we'll get a lot better at doing this. So, and we've got a lot more to come. We don't know what's next, but we ain't going to tell you. It's always going to be a secret. You'll never know. But here we go with the video. Let's see if we can get this started here. Whoops. We don't want I don't know. I went too far over. Yeah, it's it's it going, though. It's going. All right. We'll let it go. So. But it was an interesting trip. We drove into Madison. Um, people were still there working when we got there at first because we decided to get there before see, here, the here. dark came at down. This part That's of the picture. video, you can actually see. That well, was a picture. And then here again, you can see I'm doing a, a shot of, of Joe and I'm walking up. Um, you can actually see the yard there. This is down by the road, actually. Yeah, this the is driveway the entrance. driveway off Northport. And then that's the building there behind us, of course. And that's what it is now. The the sign here tells you exactly what it is now. Yeah, and you should be able but to see that. You can see, see the still... yard. There's there's a big freaking yard. And you should see the lights on the bottom. That's because that's where most of the offices are, that are left are, is at the bottom, the first floor there. Mm -hmm. And that's why they're on, because they're, that parking lot was still pretty full, even at this time. There was still quite a few people Start up, up there. Again. Play it. Just leave it sitting there. And in the video here, we're just giving you a little history of the place, too. And then, of course, you know, I got to teach him how to actually face the camera and talk instead of turning away from the camera and talking. Because the microphone's on the camera at the point that we're out there filming. <laughs> and I know I got to get a little louder, too, sometimes. It's too bad it wasn't sunnier out, though, too. Yeah. It makes it better with a little overcast, I think. It makes it kind of look more ominous and you got you got street lights and stuff that are already on yeah yeah remember that there's a lot of street lights around there and these people some of these, well, these driveways now you'll see them as we're going up here as it's going up the driveway we, we film as we're going up the driveway in the car and while we're in the car and you can see the street lights and of course I got I'm the one driving I got Joe working I got to teach him how to work the camera right too man Oh, bite me. I tell you. <laughs> we also found out that... Uh, then I got to teach him how to hand the camera off because you, you'll you see that in there. Well, whatever. He doesn't know so, how to hand the camera know, off. I told you, I don't... <laughs> I'm not the camera guy. I'm, be, I'm the one behind the scenes that does all the editing of the videos and put them up on the YouTube <laughs> and design the website. I'm not the camera tech person. Yeah, this is one of those history boards you yeah, were talking this is those, about. That this are, is those history boards. That are faced like that are made like a it's, triangle. It's like a triangle. And, you know, you got three different sides. And then you got, you know, there's a hand drawn starts, map. Starts out as an, an introduction, then it's got uh natural history, I think. Cultural history. And then cult or cultural history and then but there's three different ones. Two of them are culture there two of them are histories and one of them's an introduction to it all. And then that right there, I was I came down on it to to try and get the words, the 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 words, because that's the website, and I know it looked blurred. But, but you could still see it a little bit. But there was a there was a map, and then like a Google a Google a couple of maps, and a, then there was like a Google was a, Google Earth, Earth um, uh, satellite, satellite map, yeah, of the area. And they were pretty detailed too. Uh, we didn't find some of the structures like we saw in some of the other videos, but we didn't take the time to really walk around during the day. That's, no, we're we, saving we, that for another probably day. Probably should have. But yeah, we but we're saving that, right that for away. another trip. It's, it's worth another trip. So, we didn't find the pool structures, and we didn't find that tree. So, so you guys were asked a question. Okay. Oh, what was the question? Ghost hunters now? Something like well, not, that. Not just ghost hunters. We're, Who said we're that? Gonna do the... John. Oh, it didn't come up over here. Like so your, that's uh, why I'm Jennifer. trying to have it over here too, so I can see. Is that like your? That's Jen, my niece. You know your niece Hi, niece. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Jen. But no, we're not really. 
ghost hunters per se. I mean, we're, we're going to investigate different stuff like that and, and uh, see what we can find out. She said, also said it's hard to see the projection on the wall, <laughs> and she sent you a screenshot. Well, yeah, that's because of right now the production on the wall, it's because the video itself is a little dark at the moment. Yeah, the video is a little dark. That doesn't help because we're trying to film the... We were, we were shooting at night with the night vision. So, the video yeah. we're watching, you can already find on YouTube. We This is just what we took. We're going through it ourselves and reviewing it with you, the public, now. There was a missing, what was that, a cat or a dog? dog. There was a missing, missing all, dog. all over those posters were all over the place. Missing dog posters. But see, you can still see a few cars in the parking lot there. And one of those cars was mine. That one was left there because they came up. The right, bar, they came the up and got into there. another car and left and went out. That white car is one of the workers that works there. The car on the left, if you see it again, when, if I get the camera over, that's my car. See, that one, that's my car, that one on the left. And what we're shooting here is from one of the entrances of the park, actually, and that's part of the driveway in front of us. And that's the building that is Yeah, it's just haunted. a different It's a different view of, but, of the actual building that you see at the top of the hill. Isn't this where you told me to walk? No, we were up further, weren't no, we? No, we were up further when I told you to walk ahead of but, you know, I'm I'm talking about mostly here about the, the lights and the fact that there's a lot of street lights. Yeah, and we found out and one of those, a few of those lights on the building are some, motion sensor. Yeah, some of the lights on the building are motion sensored. So anything moves in front of them, they're going to come on. So somebody somebody might say, oh, I saw an orb or a light came on on the building. Well, duh, the light came on because you got inside of its sensor. Or something else. You did. know. Or, or, yeah, yeah, or a bird flew through it. Or something yeah. like that. An animal right, something. So I said a critter. Critters are animals. There was a, there was a lot of, uh, you know that. A lot of reasons for people to be spooked up in this place. Yeah, it's it, it's this is all open area, so. I mean, it's they got they turned it into a, a county park, now. Yeah, he's pointing out all the lights here. You can see all the road lights. The all street, street lights, lights to, to, the to all the road lights light up there. the driveway for the workers. <laughs> yeah, and he's making fun, saying, "Yes, oh, I was this being is facetious an orb. in an ass. Oh, there's an orb. No, wait, that's a street light. No, nope, that's another street that is light. That's the way I am. That's another street light. Wait, wait. Nope, that's headlights down on Northport. <laughs> oh, you, 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 yes. Sean just said, didn't know they had trails. Might have to check them out. Yeah. You're more than welcome. Come with, come us, with us. We go again, or when we go again, and come back there and then investigate with us and look around. Yeah, because there was plenty of stuff we saw that we didn't get. It's to find very for simple. Ourselves. This is this is all public land, and it's open to the public. So we didn't from need five a.m. to ten p.m. So we didn't need permits to be up there. So we could actually be up in there up until ten o'clock at night. And we left before that. Yeah, we left around. Because we were back here by ten. So. But anyway, yeah, it's all open for people to go up in there because it's a park. It's a public park. Back to the other thing, people didn't realize that some people that take these videos and these trips, they got to understand the surroundings of the area. Like Yeah, the area that they're in there is... is all right, you got San, Sanatorium Hill right here, but that's not the only thing you got to worry about. If you're going to be up there investigating, you, you should realize that there's kind of a marsh area and it's a very large marsh yeah but that's a Madison. ways away but still okay. deer that's, have been there, there, I, down I on the north fork drive that. there's a lot of houses though between this and the well i was getting to that too and the the woods there's a lot of houses from the back well, side I of that was, woods i was getting to that you get to and the on marsh. both sides so as you're walking through you know when we were walking through that woods, I you'll hear me probably say, I think I hear voices, be quiet, stop, you know, or something like that. And then when I, I'm sitting there well, listening closer. To that spot we were talking about here then. Well, just it'll get there. 
I'm just trying to explain what happened while we were there. Let the video play in the background while we talk about what happened, you know, and Maybe we should it was just turn the lights a, off and turn that on night vision. And... It, it was a, a nice, <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice enough night out where you had people sitting on their decks. Okay. Yeah. And you wouldn't see yeah, them. Yeah. Well, for Wisconsin people, they can handle the, the cold at about 40 degrees sitting right. out on their deck having a, a good old cold good beer and, 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 beer and, a, and sitting and there talking, talking with their friends on a Friday night. Well, that's what that was. I thought I heard whispering and voices and there was definitely people having a good time on a deck, but you couldn't see the house or where that was coming from, but you could tell that it was people talking and <laughs> having a good time and laughing okay but it was coming from such a distance it almost sounded like a whisper coming through the woods because they're so dense in some areas huh yeah i know he's got to look at the camera and then you have and then we had all the wildlife that's up in there well you got coons and this time of year you have dry leaves everywhere right yep because they're, you know, the snow, so, the snow's already melted off of them. They were there prior to the snowfall, so the snow. When you're walking coming. around, you don't have much. For, even though you got these street lights <coughs> in the driveways here and off the building, they don't help light up the woods behind the place. No. Nope. So when you're up in there, it's very, very dark. There. It really is very dark up in there. And okay, hang on. If you get here's silent. here's the one part. Oh yeah. Here's the now we're part. at now this part it. of the video. I don't know if you guys can see it on the wall behind us, you know. But there's a part of the video here where you can see there's trash cans next to the building. And then behind this part of the building, which protrudes out of the back of the building, it's a, a section that comes out. Behind it is a parking lot. There's an actual small parking lot back there that the employees like park their stuff. Yeah, there's and there's, there's, a, a, there's a little there loading dock back there, too. So... This was to kind of prove a point. Prove a point to one of the other videos that that we seen because the guy was saying, "Well, oh, look, there's a there's an apparition walking across," and well, I was proving a point to that fact because <coughs> it was obviously a person. Yeah, it it was a it was an actual person. And we knew that before there. we left and did this, and even thought. I mean, we thought about doing this little bit here. At the last minute, why we were why we were up there, we didn't plan this. No, this wasn't because planned. I, this I, was it was a after I got the a moment chance thing, to go and we and got to kind of see the layout. See, look, and now you, yeah, oh. you kind of see me walking across. Now, where I'm walking across, it looks like I came out one of those doors over there. Like I got off work and I get off, and there's a set of stairs there. I decided not to walk up the stairs because there was a sign that said climb the stairs at your own risk. <laughs> so I didn't want to take well, any I think chances. it's because uh, that was for the winter time because I don't think they shovel those stairs. Yeah, I don't. And then I don't think they took the sign out because maybe they don't think winter is quite over yet because what is this? Wisconsin. Look, an ambulance. Change. Oh, wait. No, that was a war orbs. <laughs> I didn't see that part. Well, that's because I was over there doing your little walk thing, fucker. <laughs> but you can still see me in the video I here. Said, but also, but look how far away that actually is from where I'm. And you can still too. tell I was a person though the whole time. Yeah. Like I was a solid person. There's no apparition. No way you can right. fool that kind of apparition It's just like it's just there. like the other. It's just like the other video that I, that I was seeing that I was talking about too. It is the same way. The guy, you know, you can see the person walking across. Illuminated great from the lights out there. Well, they now, don't. The whole thing is, I don't believe any of those lights were there during during uh, um, a time of those uh, back in the 30s and 40s. If that would have been an apparition from, you know, a residue of that time showing itself and coming across. It was still illuminated by the lights that are there. And I don't think back in those times they had that kind of lighting. Yeah, but it was still a worker. Yeah, I mean, I'm was, pretty sure. It, or, or somebody, somebody cutting, cutting through, through because, because it was actually in the front of the building where the other it went thing, across, and then there's a crowd. There's a 
walkway there that they were walking down. And the other thing that I was going to say about this area, not only do they you were, have the they marsh. Were filming out, they were filming out in the, in the woods when they caught that, too. Not only do you have the marsh, you have <laughs> Warner Park and those woods across the street. So you've got all kinds of wildlife possibilities coming into those woods. And at the same time, you got to realize when you're up filming Sanitarium Hill, you're surrounded by a couple of bad neighborhoods, and there's only one place they can go for liquor and cigarettes at this time of night, and and, and cutting across this lawn and, and cutting through these woods is a shortcut for them. It is kind of a shortcut. It's down. It's down. The, so you got to keep that in mind. Hill. It's a, a quick trip. That's As we were walking around, used to be we PDQ. ran into a dude walking his dog twice. Yep. While we were up there, once in the cemetery and once in front of the building. They just kind of popped out of nowhere because there's so many shadows and places that you can't yep. see people okay. right away up there. Again. You know? Yeah, he was even saying that the one dude was a ghost. Oh, there's a ghost right there coming this way. Oh, you know? look, an orb coming this way, walking its dog. Walking its dog. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm... I, yeah, I know, and I explained there why we're why I'm being an ass. I mean, you know, I'm up there. I want to try and catch something, but but again, I want to prove to people that not everything you see is going to is going to be an apparition or or anything oh, there's obvious. The stairs. Yeah, there's the stairs. Yeah, and it goes up to a back parking lot by mm -hmm. the water tower. Those go go up to that to the back of that building, and then. From the back of that building, you look directly across, and there's a parking lot that you can put about 15 cars in. It's I mean, just down from the... From it's, yeah, and that's, that's like behind where the trash cans, because that's the trash mm -hmm. cans right there. They're showing the trash cans now, and they, there's still cars. They, well, we're showing, we. the, yeah, we're showing the trash cans now, and there's still... Uh, what is up with you, dude? There's still a couple of parked cars there from people working there at night. I mean, they work pretty late, some of them. Yeah. And some of them keep their vehicles and just take off and go to a local bar and come back and pick them up with it, you know. But it is kind of funny because we're right now we're broadcasting using Joe's video camera that he got. And I got one identical to it so we could interswap batteries if we need to. So it doubles as a webcam. It has night vision, so when you're out shooting, you can use night vision. The film that was done... That were that we posted was done on my camera with night vision. He's walking around carrying his camera, and as we're walking up to the building here, you can probably hear him if you watch if you watch this. He keeps saying, "I hear something. I hear something over there." And so what I do is I'm like, "Well, you're you got your camera. Turn the damn thing on. Put it on night vision and film." I did it once and I didn't see nothing. But, but you got to keep doing it. You don't just. You gotta okay. be quick enough. Two two seconds. Hey, there's an apparition. <laughs> I think I did that a couple of times. <laughs> you did too. Yeah. He kept pointing the camera at me and said, "Hey, look, there's an apparition." But you know, it, but but that's the whole thing. There, you know, I was we're just telling we're you to be quiet. And he's looking at his camera in his hand. Yeah. But see, that, but the, that, that's that's the whole well, thing. Well, I was looking know, to I, see I, what wildlife was up there because give, that's all it was. Kind of being a, a I mean, I didn't see an apparition. Shit. I was hearing the leaves Excuse rustling me. and running something running through the leaves, and it was animals. Had to have been because there's a lot of them up well, there. Well, anyway, no the. And another reason I'm being it's that loaded with here too it's is loaded with credit. You got to understand the background I have. Okay, I have in my life because I I've dealt with witchcraft and I now is this practice that? some of it sometimes. Oh, there's an orb right there! Look. <laughs> yeah. And and uh, a girlfriend that I had dabbled in into the the arts and she played a lot of a lot of times she played around with the black arts. Now we're walking up to this building that's loaded with. Um, so I have a history of, of understanding some of this and knowing some of this. So therefore, I'm more sensitive to things. If there are anything, if there, there is wasn't anything nothing. there, we didn't really see anything much. Just but I didn't. Lot. I didn't find anything that that actually. I mean, we, we showed itself to be that way for me. We proved that somebody can easily get spooked up in there. Yeah, yeah, it's real easy to get spooked up there.
either. It's, you it's know, not I mean, hard. We didn't get spooked, but I mean, we can but, understand why some people got spooked because when we, even when we were walking around talking, those critters were pretty, pretty they're active. active. The, we had the nocturnals out, and they they were pretty active. So. You know, everything from squirrels. Now to this, this building here, the possums, um, none and, of the other videos I've seen. There's there is one other video. They out didn't there go up and by, examine this building. Right. Well, there is one other video out there I haven't watched yet. That's on YouTube, and it was done by uh, an organization called Peps, Paranormal um, something or others. I it, it, they're they're yeah here he, is, here he yeah. is calling me an apparition again too. Oh, by probably. the way, I think, or a ghost or remember. some shit or a spirit. I don't remember because I was standing inside the building looking. So when I got back up in here, I think I turned the night vision off because there yeah because yeah. there's a full. You know, there's a full light up there. You can see pretty decently with it. And that seems, and 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 when I was up there sledding as a kid, I never knew this building existed. Well, it's a section of the building that was there, I believe. I, oh, I think there was and an you know, and you know what there. I believe this building is, by the way. I believe this building because I, I as I was, um, I kind of went down and around and left the the top floor part of it because you walk down the hill. Yeah, it's like two. It's like a two you floor. Walk, as there. you were walking down from the building, you walked right into it. It was kind of like the hill, and then they had a sidewalk that just kind of flowed right, right in, in right, right up into flowed it. right up into it. See how we walked. But up then there. you had to walk down the hill either side of it, and when you got down there, and there again, there there's the, uh, the map. aerial map again showing that, and it's got but different when, locations. All right, now here, there. when you got down there, that's one. I think that was one uh, the outside entrance to one of the access tunnels that been. they were talking about. Now this, because this here, steel door. this is a picture of the sanatorium, probably taken what around the fifties. Yeah, I would probably put that in the fifties, but you can no. see how big that that yard is there. I think, yeah, I think it was like right, yeah, shortly before it closed. Yeah, but you can you can see there how big that yard was. That's the reasoning behind. Well, they had a part of such a big yard. Yeah, you got to get going and go get. When, when I was a kid, chairs. when I was a kid, and we used to use that when we used that hill as a sledding hill. You had to be careful because you'd end up on Northport Drive, and I, I believe kids got hit a few times. All right, we're going to have an apparition come in front, of the, in front of the camera in just a second here. So they put up a bit of a, fa a chain link fence oh, up there to prevent oh, so kids from, she's gonna, from she's gonna be a, going out the a, Northport a Drive with and, a sled. And avoid the camera. She's, yeah. she's crawling. She, now she's going she's to get up and has she's going to bump, she's gonna bump the camera. Watch, watch. She's going to bump it up. All right. <laughs> I'll be back. Oh God. But you're probably She's done threatening by, me. But you're probably done by the time I come back. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I got to go all the way down the fort. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, you got to go all the way to fort. Yeah, she's got to take her home because she. Ain't oh, that's right. You got to take her home. From it. Whatever. So. <laughs> but see, and it, it, when you're looking at the place, even it is kind of spooky looking at night. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. You know. And if you don't know what it is, and you don't know the workers are still there, you know, you kind of wonder why the lights are still on in the place. And some of them turn on and off. You know why some of those lights well, turn yeah, on yeah, and off? Because people are still going around in there, and they leave their offices, and they turn their lights off. Right. And then you'll have you, you'll notice if you're watching that this on, we were on there YouTube, last if you're night. watching our video on YouTube, you'll notice that there's cuts in there. And that's because I, I would either I'd stop it. the camera or pause it or whatever. Or, well, not cut, pause it. I'd stop, stop it, it so say battery restart. life, so I can, you know, we change locations and, and restart again. But <laughs> but when I did see that That's light go weird. off in what? that office, about five ten minutes later, it was an office on the third floor, or a window on the third floor, and shortly after that, one of the cars left. <laughs> yeah, about five minutes later. So, so I, yeah, I, I don't know that why that explains the lights going on and off in the some, building. Sometimes, yeah. Most of the time, I, but would I, don't, I don't know why. I don't know why my camera's battery decided to, to go quickly, though. I mean, it was it was weird. It had a full charge on it, and then all of a sudden, it's just like. But it, I did get almost an hour's worth of video out of yeah, it. Yeah, we're gonna have to get some more batteries. I think. Might have to get a better battery for it. Something that'll work better. Hold better. Or at charge. least a couple backups and maybe a pack charge, a uh, docking charger if we can find one. Yeah. Yeah. We'll. we'll We'll we're, figure it out. We're working on it, you know. We just trying ordered, to get stuff we just going. Ordered he wanted to get back on on doing 
doing this pretty quick. So did I, because was yeah, it was three months. He was we getting gone. bored. I was getting bored, and I actually enjoyed this. And we ordered some more <laughs> equipment coming soon, so to help with our investigations while we're so we can about. so so if we do more ghost investigations. But what we're what we're look, looking what we're working to do is basically follow up on myths and legends of the area myths and legends of wisconsin to start out with and and doing you know doing like, and, like the stuff here doing like these night investigations and, and, and some, some stuff interesting like that. and unique some interesting and unique places that people may not really know about in wisconsin yeah you well, know that one of the things we'll wind up doing here uh one of these weekends i'm sure is is um is uh um Going down by Burlington. Yeah. There's a, a legend in in Wisconsin called the Beast of Briar Road. And uh, we're going to work on, on trying to get down there as well. Yeah, that one's going to have to be timed right, though, because he only shows up on midnight in a, during a full moon. Yeah, supposedly. I know, supposedly. Well, we'll, we'll do a little bit of a... But we're going to be doing a lot of too. a lot of stuff like this, but not all of it's going to be paranormal. Some of it might, might just be a, a really really cool spot that nobody really knows about that we want to show you or a unique shop that we found during our travels well you gotta think too i, I i've you know i've only been in wisconsin since 93 and, yeah, but and i've seen more of this state than most of the native people that were born and raised in madison and i've been here all my life so yeah. there's a lot of knowledge about and Wisconsin. I I've seen more of Wisconsin than you have. I doubt it. I don't know. Well, yeah, yeah I sp wait, I, I take that back. Being a, a driving for a living all over the <laughs> fucking place, I, I, yeah, I'm sure you have. But as far as a tourist person no. goes, I doubt it. No, it, it, no being being a driver like I was. I mean. Now, here, here on the video, if you guys are watching it with us or you're trying to see it, we're um, we're in the woods area right now behind behind the um, yeah up behind the the, the right uh, behind that building sanatorium, sanatorium building. Down, out out by where the water tower is yeah and that's also where we found this one unique path where it was like even though the ground I don't know if it was unique it was just it, really it just weird felt it felt spongy yeah really spongy but it wasn't it it, it was like not not like you were you weren't tracking in, anything yeah you weren't or, walking wasn't picking in mud. The mud or anything it's really weird you know it, yeah it was really we weird and it was someone. and it was only the path it was only the path that was like that well and it was only one path that we that, found that was like that i can't either <laughs> <laughs> well since we lost tanya you know, now we can't see if anybody puts up questions sorry about that we can't we lost our our producer person so if you're asking questions we'll try to get to them after the show if we can or as soon as we can because right you now i suppose i can step see. over there and see. see if anybody's asking questions looks like we lost somebody again I don't know. talk about the cemetery well i will eventually Did we get any just... footage of the cemetery yeah a little bit oh hi ashley <laughs> I have seen deer on that hill many times. See, even See, yeah. John saw deer on the hill. Well, yeah, no, I know. And in front of the, and in front of the building there on on that open grass area, I've seen. I've actually seen deer when I drive through there. But yeah. Yeah, sorry, Ashley. When we go on these trips, we try to keep them secret. Well, no, yeah, she's I, saying I, she wants kind of like, she wanted well, she to go with have, she would have well she would have showed up to say hi and the visit for a few minutes um but we're trying to keep them a little secret when we go next time we go someplace close to you well i'll try to give you a heads up but you got to keep it to yourself when i do well you gotta i don't know she can hear you probably but not see you oh no i'm solo i lost see see i told you it was an apparition He's gone now. See, look, I'm doing my thing over here. I look over, and Joe's gone. He's just an apparition. Probably just. You know, I did fart a while ago. I might have just blew him away. You know, he, he's like dust in the wind. 
So who's left on there, or is it? Nobody likes us. They don't want to be on. They don't want to watch us. Uh, ooh, bless me. Hey, did you actually uh, put the website of of uh, the the one I was trying to film? Or is that all? Or is it just us that you put up there? Utterly insane productions. The that's well, up, that's up on the YouTube one. Yes, I know that, but I'm saying for um for the website for the Histor historical society, did you happen to put that up there too once? Oh, no, or? I just, okay. I didn't, no, that's fine. I didn't know because that was the one I was trying to. There. That was the one I was trying to to film for everybody. So. But anyway, yeah, I know it's 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 dark. But yeah, it looks like and, and and here here in the video, I don't know if you can see my finger, but I got my finger up there in, in a perfect spot to where I'm pointing at the lights, telling everybody what they are. That you know, like most of the lights I was filming was basically the, the most of the lights I was filming was was um, houses and 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 uh, like the building itself. Yeah. We had to stop quite a few times because of hearing things. Yeah. Well, it didn't help I any. Just, didn't help any that he was wearing his leather, and it was it, I, just the slightest little movement. You can hear the leather. I'm going. sorry, I didn't hear the leather. As it gets warmer, I won't need that heavy leather <laughs> coat, though. But I'm used to the leather, <laughs> the leather noise, where I was able to um, block it out. I mean, I kept hearing it, but I did hear the, the thing of leaves rustling as well. But you didn't hear it. Did you play back any of that? And <coughs> did you play back this whole thing and watch the whole thing? Yeah. I didn't hear anything other than that. You didn't hear that grunt that I heard when I was saying I thought I heard a grunt? Oh, in the Like in a the pig cemetery? grunt? Yeah. That I did not hear, no. We'd have to maybe enhance the video. Or the, the That's audio. where that one of those recorder things would have came in handy but i did have the the mic at its highest setting so but being over there in the cemetery though and hearing that i got to thinking about this last night afterwards well down by where the cemetery was not too far from I, that i got a where feeling they had the actual pig farm right the, but not the, um, sanatorium that, right that's also where the pig farm was and i heard her i thought i heard it sounded like a pig grunt and that's what i said at first i swear i said it and probably heard it on the camera when i said I, it probably because i think i was filming at the time and and the problem was the other thing i got to thinking last night what's to say it wasn't a dog up there that kind of strayed from its home not too far away right there yeah it's possible too it seems like a lot houses, of people the houses are all around yeah there. and it seems like a lot of people walk their dogs up and around that area during the day and stuff like that dog wants to go back to a walk and find something that he found earlier and sniff something out more he can yeah. go back there and maybe i out. got too close yeah. and it was his kind of form of a growl because he wasn't too big yeah. you know yeah. <laughs> I, I i didn't see what it was but i know i heard it I, I didn't hear it that's the thing you know i i know i don't maybe you passed gas and that's what i heard it could have been i <laughs> tell you, you want to admit that <laughs> Yeah, you were pretty active last night, weren't you? I was my 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 arse was very active last night. <clears throat> but I'm not no, it, it really did sound like a like that pig grunt, you know. You know how pigs grunt. It really sounded like a pig grunt. But the weirdest thing and the, the spookiest thing about that cemetery was all the children that died at such a young age. Yeah, the there was 1800s. one second uh, there was one section of that cemetery that that I had headstones that were uh, children, children names, um, and there were some of them were newborn, some of them were were one two months, some of them eight months, some of them were a couple of years old. Yeah, all of, it's all in the eighteen hundreds. Yeah, and most, most of them most under, all of them were 1800s. most of them all under the age of ten. Yeah, yeah, all those kids and some of them dying within months of each other. The the way it looked, yeah. Yeah, a whole, whole although camp. it didn't give a month that they died, it gave a, a a year, a year that they died, but it also gave an age, right? Range, 
of who but, I mean, how whole, whole families dying all in the same year or within months or days or whatever. I mean, it just, it was weird. It was very <laughs> weird. Um, and because during that time, that building wasn't there yet. No, in the 1800s, no. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's uh, so I, I was like, I wonder what they that's fall old, victim that's to, like an entire family all of a sudden gone and wiped out in, you know, a famish, a, a famish winter. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's still winter, pretty hard. Winter hard enough that something that, had to take a wipe out a whole you know, family like that. Yeah. I mean, because it was like a pretty big family, and it was like they were all gone within the same in the same year. It's like what four or five kids? Yeah, four or five kids. Within probably three years of each other at the at the most that, that we're buried there. But it's easy to see why people can get spooked up here. Real easy oh, yeah. to you, see. Just just this part of the video where you're seeing us going through the woods, you can see how dark it is. I was wearing my uh Yeah, you get no help from the lights here, from the building. I was wearing, I was wearing this hat when we were out there. And that's why I was wearing it. It's got headlights on it. So I, it come in handy. I didn't have to have a, a I didn't have to have a flashlight on me. I had this. Which uh, my my company gave gave me this. It's pretty cool. And it's got a replaceable battery, so if I ever need to replace the battery I can replace it. So but yeah, it, it's a nice little nice little hat. I'm gonna make sure it takes care of this one. This will come in handy when we do stuff like this. By the way, if you couldn't see, we do have a new website. It's called utterlyinsaneproductions.com. Yep. That was his idea to change it to productions, and uh, I think it's a good idea. And we're going to we're try to do more videos and stuff out and about instead of just sitting here and, and throwing them at you guys and saying, here, this is yeah, what we, we got. got. Watch it. We got a few other surprises up our sleeve yet. We're trying. We're trying to make it better. We're trying to make it go in yeah, a different well, we direction. Don't, and, we don't want to talk about the the other things we're talking about just yet. So we no. experiment first. Yeah. But we got some things we're experimenting with, and if they work for us, you'll get to see them. Yeah, little, little things we're we're throwing around. But but it was an interesting trip. We didn't see anything that we would determine to make this place haunted, but we Not did that determine tell. that it is a spooky place. Very. I mean, very we spooky. didn't get spooked. I mean, we were able to pretty much figure out anything and everything that we saw or heard, what it was, or determine a good idea of what it was or what it could be. Well, that one video, though, that the guy was showing that, that remember I was talking about? Where they, where he's he's showing that orb and he's saying right. that, that that it keeps blinking on and off and blunt and stuff like that. Well, it, it's it's almost as dark like this whenever they're filming that section. Okay, as dark as, as our video is here because I think they were filming in night vision as well. And then he goes and and use, after he edited it and everything, he highlighted and lined up the area where that orb was. Which was the wrong thing for him to do because you could see clearly that it is a person standing there turning a light on and off. Yeah, yeah. Some people so, are trying hoax. See, we're not there gonna, are people trying hoax, and that's, we're not that's one bring of the things I don't want to do. We're we're bringing you exactly. We're bringing you the experiences you're, that we have. Okay? You're seeing we, the unedited an version of what we've got. On if YouTube. we have an experience, yeah, we're going to show it and we're going to be honest about it. We're going to try to tell you and try to see if we can explain it. If we can't explain it, we're not going to say that it's something. If we can't explain it, we're just no. going to say we can't explain what it was. But we're going to try to do our best to explain it. <coughs> and if we yeah. do run across other videos of places that we are going to possibly go and they, they show, you know, different things saying this is an apparition or this is a, we're going to try a, to debunk this it. or this is a that, I'm going to try to debunk it. And it, and it all falls back to the, the experiences that I've had in life. Over the years, I'm not. Yeah, you know, plus I'm not one that's going to be. Plus, at the same time, with it. our with our knowledge, we can pretty much figure out and try to. I mean, look at that guy. He figured I knew it was, and then I saw the video later. I saw this video on TV. 
and I'm going, oh my God, it was a haunting of a school, right? And the next thing I know, I'm on YouTube because I was looking for that video from the TV show. And I found one where a guy debunked it because I was thinking the same thing this guy thought. And he slowed down the video and pointed out a lot of different things. And they were stuff that I noticed. So, yeah, that one was easily debunked. And, you know, you can debunk some of these if you, you pay attention. But I don't think you're going to have to debunk any of ours because we're going to give it to you as we saw it. Yeah, I mean, if it's something that it's unexplained, I'm going to tell you, well, this right here. And, and we'll probably wind up having some uh, programming where we can actually put a little circle around it or something oh, like that. Lots, so, oh, we could do that now. So, uh, uh, yeah. So if, if we find something in our videos that we shoot that, that, that we're, we're not able help. to explain... We'll ask you we're gonna help. we're gonna highlight it. We're gonna make sure that you know where it's at. We're gonna add, and we're gonna say here, take a look at it yourselves, and you tell us what you think. And you know, you, you you'll be able to make comments on on the YouTube channel that it's on, and you can even go on to our our website on Facebook and and make the comments there as well. And we'll never we'll, we'll, find we'll, the one tree we'll with the ladder steps that went up it to see if we could see the platform <laughs> where the platform might have landed. No. Well, the platform might might be in pieces all over the place there, too. Yeah, or gone, kind of rotted away somebody might have, after that somebody many might years. Have no, I don't there wasn't much but plywood anyways. There wasn't much to it. Plywood and a few two-by-fours to make a railing. Yeah. Keep you from falling off. But, it, I mean, that was, back in, that was back in the early 80s. So that's like, you know, you're talking. What, 30 years ago? Yeah. Yeah. So if anything's left of it, it's rotted away. But it'd be interesting to see if any of it's laying there or not, just out of curiosity. But we're going to go back up there and look around some more. I mean, we'll this probably do it our more, first... We'll, we'll probably do one in the daylight, walk around the woods in the daylight so you get a better view. Of yeah, we, want to, we wanted to walk around more, but it was kind of like one of those days yesterday where you just... It was hard to be outside a lot with it so being so dreary and wet and damp in the air and cold. Yeah, but we were still outside <laughs> walking through the woods at night. I know, but we got, we should have walked around during the day too some more. But oh, like, like we'll do it says, again. We're learning. We're, we're figuring it out. And we we have plans to go back to this place. <laughs> we just don't know when. Anybody else say anything over there? And we will go back. And don't forget to visit, like us, and share with your friends. Let us know. Let let them know we're out there and doing this now. Um, subscribe to us on YouTube. And again, our site is www.utterlyinsaneproductions.com. Yeah, it's over with. It no, looks like not. some of it. Oh, that's all dark still. So. I don't know why. It's something you did. You edited it. Oh, it's some of the stuff that it's so dark, but we're probably talking, but it was muted. See, you can see stuff. Oh, you did put the, the other, the gravestone part in there too, huh? I think so. I did, yeah, yeah that I is. did earlier. Yeah. That I did earlier in the day. Yeah, that's that's our That visit. was kind of interesting. Yeah, he, we, August know, we and Aug the, Augusta. We the cemetery. And he found a husband and wife named August and Augusta. Yeah. Which was kind of interesting. Did they die in the 1800s as well? or 19. No, 19, early 19. And that's an old photograph from like the 1950s before it closed down as a San yep. Hospital. And nope, that's it. That's the end. All right, so, say goodbye. All right, well, we'll see you guys later. Next time. Thanks for watching when you that you did watch. So, well, uh, <laughs> more to come.